Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagram, which involves optimization. That is, we need to find the maximum values, as you can see in the questions. It says that there are three hundred students in MBA Karo, and they take coaching of at least one subject among VRC, DILR, and QA. Okay, so uh, they take at least one coaching. So that means none of the part is zero. The number of students who take coaching of DILR is more than those who take coaching of QA, which in turn is more than those who take coaching of BARC. So DILR is more than QA, more than BARC. The number of students taking coaching of exactly one subject is more than those who take coaching of exactly two subjects, which in turn is more than those who take coaching of all the three subjects. So one subject is more than two subjects. Is more than three subjects. Okay, it is also known that the number of students who take coaching of VRC is more than the number of students who take coaching of exactly one subject. Okay, so we can write the third expression like this. Now let us uh, represent a Venn diagram and see that what it actually means. Suppose this is VRC, this is DILR, and this is QA. Now one subject means this this and this so let me represent like so this these represent one subject and when we talk about uh, two subjects two subject region is this one So these are the different combinations of two subjects. So two subjects is this, and the third thing it says is three subjects. So three subjects will be this area. Okay, so that is just one. Now we have two kinds of things in this. First is the count of students okay so the count of students is this uh, one subject plus two subjects plus three subjects that is equal to 300 okay now if we count the sum of these venn diagrams that is uh, the sum of these three so the sum that will be v plus d plus q now when we take this sum what happens is we add this one times this also one times this also one times because if we add this circle this will come once not overlap with each other right so this would be one but when we add these circles this will appear two times this will appear when we add this circle and as well as when we add this circle similarly this will appear when we add this circle and when we add this circle and this third part will also appear twice so the region that is two subjects appears twice and whenever we add a circle this region is common in all so it appears three times now this sum is not known to us okay we are given the count of students this sum is not given accordingly according to the questions we have to optimize these values and answer these questions all right now let us look at the questions and see that what do they ask so first question is what is the maximum number of students who take coaching of all the three subjects okay so we need to maximize this part okay now we see that their sum is fixed their sum is fixed so if we put them equal let us say if we put all these values 100 100 100 so we can achieve the maximum value if we put them 100 100 100 but these values cannot be equal first has to be greater than second has to be greater than third so what we will do is we can do like this we'll make it 99 and we'll make it 101 now this makes sense this is the highest possible value that we can have because at 100 these are equal and that is the maximum it can take okay and we see that this is greater than this and greater than this 
So the answer is 99. Now the second question is, what is the maximum number of students who take coaching of DILR? So think like this, in this question, we are not given about any of these values. We do not know any of these values. So if we have to maximize this part, what we need to do is we need to maximize this part. If we need to maximize this part, what we need to understand is we need to minimize the remaining part. We will minimize this portion. Since there is no constraint given that there has to be at least one student studying only verbal or only quant or uh, a combination of this. So we may have these values as 0, 0, 0 and have this complete thing as 300. Now you must be wondering that why, what if we put 0 here? See, we can have values here, right? We will have some values here, we will have some values here, we will have some values here so that some student will study VA. Some student will study QA also, okay? And we can possibly make a diagram and have DILR as maximum, then uh, followed by QA and then by VRC. So we can have values over this part, okay? So maximize, if we need to maximize this portion, we can say that this is 300. We will put these three zeros and we can have some values here such that this is complete 300. This value is greater than this value, okay? What is the maximum number of students who take coaching of VARC? Now, this is uh, an interesting one. Now, how do we maximize this subject wise thing? If you have to maximize this count wise, we use this equation. Now, if we need to maximize this thing, so we need to maximize this overall also because we are talking about VARC. Okay. Now, if we are talking about VARC, that means uh, this should also be maximum. So the total basically should be maximum possible. Okay. Now, if we see this, we have uh, one subject. Okay. Uh, and then we have uh, two subjects plus three subjects. Okay. Now, if we need to maximize uh, this VRC, the overall should be maximum, okay. Overall should be maximum means that uh, we will consider this scenario because if you have to maximize VRC, we need to maximize this overall part and in order to maximize this over part, this should be maximum because see, this is just increasing by factor of three, this is increasing by factor of two, this is increasing by factor of one. So we will consider this first case, okay? So first case when we put, sorry, this is not the equation, we'll use this equation. So if we consider this first case, that gives us the maximum sum. If we have this as the maximum because it is being multiplied three times, Okay, and this and this. So if we add these values, we'll get 101 plus 200 plus 297. That is 598, right? So we can have total value of these three as 598. Now, again, we need to maximize this value. So we will just equally distribute. So if we divide by three, we will get 199 point something. Okay, so let us put the central value as we have D greater than Q greater than V. So let us put this value as 199. Okay. And let us put this value as 198. So we get uh, 397. We can put this as 201. So maximum we can put 198. Suppose if we put 199, what will happen? Suppose I put minimum 199 here. Mac, uh, that is the, we have to maximize this value. So if I put 199, this total turns out to be 600, which is not possible, okay? So I cannot make it 199. I can just take it up to 198. I can have like this uh, 198, 199, 201, or we can also have, yes, this is the only possibility that we can have, like 198, 199, and 201. So the maximum we can put for VRC is 198. So in order to maximize this, we need to maximize the sum first and 
uh, when we maximize the sum, then we try to equally divide into three parts as we did in the first question. Okay, and we got the value as 198. All right, let us look at the next question. What is the maximum number of students who take coaching of exactly two subjects? Now we need to maximize this part. Okay, so whenever we have to maximize this portion, one subject, two subject, three subject, we will look at this equation and we need, when we need to maximize subject wise or something, we need to look at this equation. So we need to maximize exactly two subjects. Now see this thing, one plus two plus three is equal to zero, oh, sorry, 300. Now if we have to find this maximum, what we can do is, this value it has to be greater than this so this is maximum now this has to be something greater than maximum max plus delta like some small value and for that we need to put this minimum okay now if we put the minimum value possible that is zero okay because we are not given that these cannot be zeros so if we put this minimum this maximum can go up to, now we are left, we have to distribute 300. We cannot put 150, 150. So we can put 149, 151, okay. Now, uh, if we see this equation, if we maximize this, uh, this thing, that is fine. But we need to consider one case also because subject wise, we need to see that VARC should go more than this. So we need to check this equation with this equation also, okay. So if we maximize this, so we will get the sum as, in this case, sum will be 1 is 151, okay. And this is, this will be 298 plus 0, that is 449, okay. Now this 449 should be in uh, a scenario such that VARC, DILR should be greater than Q, this should be greater than V, okay. So, V can get maximum, it cannot get 150, right. V will be less than like we did here. So, we can have maximum 149 here, we cannot have 150, we cannot put 150, right. We can put uh, or even 149 for that matter because that will give us 450. Uh, so, we can just put like this, we can have maximum till 148. And we are given that V is greater than I. So this condition also needs to be kept in mind. So we cannot have it 149. Okay. So another thing you could think of is what if we reduce it? So if we uh, say this is uh, 149 only, but we reduce it to 150 and we reduce it, we increase it to 1. Okay. Just trying this. So 150 plus 298 plus 3, that gives us. 451. Now again we cannot put V151 because it has to be greater than this. We cannot put 151 because still they cannot be more than 151. So this means that 149 is not possible. So now let us try to reduce it. Let us put 148. Okay. And let us try to put it as close as possible. Let us put 149 and let us put this 3. Right. So total comes out as 300. Now the sum of values will be 149 plus 296 plus 3 into 3 is 9. So 305 plus 149 that is 454. Okay. So we need to make V greater than 149. Right. In order to get this answer because this is another condition. So we can put V is equal to 150. This is 1 is 149, so we can put 150. 150 now 304 are left, we can put like this, 153 and 151, which satisfies this condition. So it satisfies all the conditions that V is greater than I, uh, that is one subject, okay. One subject is greater than two subject, greater than three subject, that is also satisfied. And D is greater than Q, greater than V. So it satisfies all the criteria, hence the answer would be 148. So in this, the last question was a very tricky one. Others were also uh, decent ones. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.